Hello guys, today I would like to show you something that I'm currently working on. So over here I've got quite old bell that was used in the telecommunication equipment and that's important because on the communication equipment like on the phone you've got the ringing signal about if I remember correctly 70 volts and the 25 hertz signal so it's not just straight uh, 50 hertz AC from the mains and I was trying to power this up from the from the mains 50 hertz AC but it was going too fast and it give, was giving an unpleasant sound so over here you can see that we've got a two coil and there are going to be energized in the in the direction of the current so over here I've got a 30 volt DC on that two probe and I can show you that we can make it ring we go into one way and as you can see I can touch and I'm just energizing one of the coil but nothing happened but if I reverse the polarity, we've got another tone. And as you can see, I can touch it again and it's not working. And that's because it's over here. And if I change the polarity and so I'm using the DC voltage over here. This is not AC. I'm just manually reversing the polarity and here you can see what is going on so as you can see it's going over here and over here by the call and on the back you can see our element okay so what i did so my project is involving a dc voltage so I'm unable to provide like a true AC signal, but I find out a way of fixing that by using a very, very cheap device that is capable of creating a square signal on the, on the frequency you can adjust and the, the pulse length that's on the NA555 timer and over here I've got uh, two relays that are connected in the way that they are creating uh, something called the H bridge and this is how it looks like so just take this as uh, our bell and if we switch these two relays these two switches we can reverse the polarity over here so we can change the direction of the flow and of course that's not a proper way on that fast signal that we would like to but as a proof of concept we can make a mechanical circuit that will create a kind of AC signal that will be enough to drive the drive the bell so give me a second to hook it up everything okay so i have a time to connect everything as you can see our bell is connected using that yellow wires and it's connected to the output of the of the relays this is the the center output just like over here so i would call that a stationary output and it will be switched between of this. So here you can see the, the close-up in case you would like to reproduct that. So over here we've got our positive and our negative, which could be reversed, no problem. I added a diode just to protect in case there will be some kind of inductive spark going back. So there is no like electronics over here. This is just a separate part. So we've got our protective diode for the inductive spike and we've got connected 
in the, in the loop over here and over here so basically you can reverse them there is no no problem you will just get other direction that's the module that's how it looks like over here we've got a DC to DC converter because as I told you it was designed to the phone line so it was like over seven like 70 volt so I'm feeding it by the 5 volt supply and over here on the output I've got around 35 volts so that's just enough to to make it ringing quite loud over here we've got I've got my probe because I was checking on the oscilloscope when making adjustment of the pulse width and I've got everything running so let's let's power up and that module go and give you a, a close-up that's how it looks like you can adjust the width of the pulse and the frequency and I'm on the lowest range which is if I remember correctly up to 50 Hertz so let's connect everything up so that module and the relay is fitted from the 5 volt and we've got uh, our 30 volt from the DC to DC converter so let's connect and as you can hear we've got our relay clicking and reversing the polarity because the bell is quite loud I'm going to hook it up okay as you can see we've got the two tones from the separate bells you can see the, the coil going up and down and the element driving you can see it's going in the reverse polarity so let's a little adjustment and make it go faster it's going faster can see the pulses and I'm going to slow down Of course that's just like an experiment because for that purpose we should use the H bridge on the semiconductors that is also available because on the higher frequency the relays do not have enough time to go back and change the direction so they are just fully on and that's how it looks like so very simple experiment Thank you for watching and bye bye.